everyone, and welcome back to the Good Stories That's a Fact series. Today, we're shrinking down to explore the incredible, wild, and sometimes wacky world of bugs. These tiny creatures are everywhere, on the ground, in the air, under leaves, and even in your backyard. But don't worry, they're more cool than creepy. Let's meet some of the most amazing bugs on Earth. First up, the bombardier beetle, the exploding bug. Let's start with something wild. The bombardier beetle has a secret weapon. It shoots boiling hot chemicals out of its back when it's scared. That's right, this tiny beetle mixes chemicals inside its body, and when a predator gets too close, boom! It blasts out a hot, stinky spray to scare them away. And even though it sounds dangerous, the beetle doesn't hurt people. Just hungry frogs, birds, or spiders that try to snack on it. Ever heard of a bug with built-in bug spray? Well, some bugs can actually produce their own chemical defenses to ward off predators. Pretty cool, right? Next up, we have the praying mantis, the sneaky hunter. The praying mantis looks like it's always praying, with its front legs folded like it's at a bug church. But don't be fooled, this bug is a fierce predator. Mantises sit very still and wait for something tasty to walk by. Then snap, they grab it in a flash. They can turn their heads from side to side, just like people, and they have super sharp vision for spotting food. It's like they have their own built-in radar. Some even pretend to be flowers to trick other bugs. That's like turning into a pizza to catch someone who's hungry. Now meet the Hercules beetle, the strongest bug in the world. This beetle might look like a tiny rhino with a big horn on its head, but it's named after Hercules, the strong guy from ancient myths. Why? Because the Hercules beetle can lift things over 100 times its own body weight. That would be like you lifting a car. The males use their horns to wrestle each other during bug battles over food or mates. Don't worry, nobody gets seriously hurt. They live in warm forests and mostly eat fruit and tree sap. Time for some buzzing with the bumblebee. You've seen them buzzing around flowers, right? Bumblebees are big, fuzzy, and surprisingly gentle. They're amazing pollinators. That means they help plants grow by moving pollen from flower to flower. Without bees, we wouldn't have apples, strawberries, or even chocolate. Two, five, Bumblebees have tiny wings and round chubby bodies that look too heavy to fly. But guess what? They do it anyway. Science says it works because their wings move really fast and at special angles, like helicopter blades. Two, five, and get this! Bumblebees can vibrate their bodies to shake pollen out of flowers. That's called buzz pollination. Now for some glow-in-the-dark magic, the firefly. Ever seen little lights blinking in the grass at night? That's a firefly. But it's not actually a fly, it's a beetle. Fireflies make light with their bodies through a chemical reaction in their bellies. They use their glowing lights to talk to each other mostly to find a mate. Some flash slowly, some blink fast. It's like a bug disco party out there. Meet the architect, the leafcutter ant. Leafcutter ants are tiny farmers. They cut pieces of leaves and carry them back to their underground homes, sometimes for miles. But they don't eat the leaves. Instead, they use them to grow fungus, which is their real food. That's right, these bugs farm mushrooms in the dark. Their colonies can have millions of ants working together. There are soldier ants, worker ants, cleaner ants, even queen ants. It's like a tiny city under the dirt. And these ants are strong too. Each one can carry something 20 times heavier than itself. Time for a tiny jumper. The flea. Fleas are small, but don't underestimate them. They are some of the best jumpers in the animal kingdom. A flea can leap over 100 times its own height. That's like you jumping over a skyscraper. 
They don't have wings, but their back legs are like springs that store energy and launch them into the air. Fleas are famous for being itchy because they drink blood from animals like cats and dogs. That's why pets need flea collars to keep them away. Last but not least, the stick insect, the master of disguise. Can you spot the stick insect? Probably not, because it looks exactly like a twig. These bugs are pros at camouflage. They blend in with branches, leaves, and bark so predators can't find them. Some even sway back and forth like a twig blowing in the wind to trick their enemies. Stick insects are some of the longest bugs on Earth. Some grow over a foot long. And guess what? If a predator does grab them, they can drop a leg and grow it back later. Talk about a built-in escape plan. Bonus bug facts. Let's end with some quick bug bites of knowledge. There are more bugs on Earth than any other kind of animal. Millions of species. Insects don't have bones. They have exoskeletons, like armor on the outside. Dragonflies can fly in any direction, even backward. Some butterflies taste with their feet. And ladybugs aren't really ladies, some are boys. Bugs might be small, but they do big things for our planet. They pollinate plants, clean up waste, and feed other animals. Some are beautiful, some are weird, and all of them are amazing in their own way. Thanks for going on this bug bonanza with me. Next time you see a tiny critter crawling on a leaf or buzzing in the sky, maybe you'll stop and say, wow, you're awesome. See you next time on The Good Stories. Please like, comment, and subscribe.